Okay, so I've been sent a new OS, uh, and this is Phoenix OS Thunder Jaro, uh, and uh, this is sent to me by Asir, who has the website Phoenix OS, and uh, you can see there's a couple of videos I've done before, Phoenix Pi Kylin and also Phoenix OS. Phoenix OS I particularly liked, the look of it was excellent, there was so much in there, and loads and loads of transitions and effects and things like that, really interesting, and got a load of positive feedback from that. Uh, this one is very special in that the YouTube performance is excellent. I think it's possibly the best YouTube performance I've ever seen on the Pi, and this isn't overclocked. So I'm using it on my Pi 400, uh, I'm running it from an SSD drive, but I'm not overclocked or anything like that, and YouTube performance is excellent. If I sound a little different, it's because I've been sent one of these, uh, a Fifine microphone, uh, which is a USB microphone for PC and Mac. I'm going to do a separate video on it. That was in exchange for me doing a video. I've got the microphone, but I thought I'd mention it if people were thinking, why does he sound different? Hopefully I sound better. Uh, I haven't really had time to get to grips with it yet. I don't know if my levels are going to be right or anything like that, but I'm just, I thought I'd do it for this video and fingers crossed the audio will sound good. I'm actually using my iPhone, uh, which it doesn't say you can use, but it seems to be working absolutely fine. So let's get rid of that. And uh, the, now it doesn't seem to be on the website yet. Uh, so whether he sent me like an early preview, but it generally, if you go to the, and I'll put a link in the description uh, or in the comments to the website. Uh, and if you want English language, uh, it usually pops up at the top and just select English language from it. Uh, so let's go into my channel and go to videos. And I've actually just uploaded a, a 4K video because I'd always thought about doing this. I've, I've got loads of uh, 4K TV demos and uh, they look really nice, really good quality content. And I just thought, let's put a load of clips together so every time I show video content, I can show that same video because it, it looks stunning. So let's put it full size. And interestingly, this went, I'll just turn the audio down a little bit. This went up as a 4K video straight away. Uh, it didn't have to do anything to it at all. Uh, but, uh, and th this isn't playing in 4K by the way, this is playing in 1080. But, uh, and you do get the occasional tearing, but on a lot of videos, no tearing at all. And I've, and I've had it on this morning and I've watched a load of music videos and played around with it. And the performance of it is excellent. A really, really surprisingly good on the Pi. And this is uh, a really quite a high bit rate video. Uh, I don't know if we, if we go to stats for nerds, uh, let's have a look. So eight dropped frames, it says, and it's not dropping any frames now. You usually get when you, when you click on something, you might get a few drop frames on the Pi, but yeah, you can see this is coping really well. So let's get rid of stats for nerds and let's smack that smaller. So let's press escape on that. I've been deliberately picking things with lots of movement in and uh, overall the performance and even things like scrubbing through a video, all of that seems to be a lot better. Uh, and in the email that Asir sent me, he said, uh, I made a respin of Banjaro that only consumes 240 megabytes of RAM. The YouTube videos work well without overclocking. I'm also doing the same in Ubuntu and Raspbian. Uh, he's also working for loads of things for 2021. Uh, he also said about uh, working with Munker to maybe put the games in this distribution. So let's show you the distribution. Uh, and I can play the music in the background because it's royalty free music. I deliberately picked that. Uh, so, oh, and I've had three dislikes, which is nice. Uh, so let's close that down and uh, just go down to the raspberry at the bottom here uh, and you can see accessories. We've got various things in here, image viewer, quantum manager, notepad, chromium apps. Uh, I don't know what this, these, I think I just, um, just links to websites and various things like that, uh, which, which may not be in the final version. I think it's just because he's flashed an image to send to me. Uh, I, I would imagine he's quite excited that the YouTube performance is as good as it was. He's done a great job in this. Uh, so graphics, LibreOffice Draw, Internet, Chromium and Firefox. Firefox also works well, but I still think Chromium has the edge on this operating system. Nice to see the Office suite in there as well. Uh, programming i don't really do programming uh, there's quite a lot of music he's obviously into music because there's lots of music apps that have been installed in there uh, and then various different things for tweaking system tools and so on uh, and these icons are very tiny so if you like a desktop that isn't very cluttered 
Uh, if I right click, I don't think it's got any of the effects and things like that. I couldn't see them in there. Um, but the wallpapers that come in it, there's some Manjaro ones as well. So I hit open. Oh, crikey, that's a low res one, isn't it? Looks very soft. On, I'm, on, I'm using it on a 1080 uh, display and 1080 capture. Uh, so let's change that back to what I had before. I'd probably end up changing the background, but I thought it was quite a nice background if you're into that. So great job, Asir. Thanks very much for sending it to me. Uh, please feel free to send me any more operating systems you come up with. Uh, I like what you're doing with the with the Pi, getting really, really good performance. And YouTube is something that a lot of people struggle with. So uh, anyway, I hope this all helps. Thanks very much for watching. Please like and subscribe.